And welcome back, Gamer Nation. SKS here with another episode of Democracy 2. Last time I left off, we figured out three groups that I need to make happy. The Socialist. I actually have a shirt that looks like that. Uh, the Drinkers. And then the last one was the Environmentalist. Who makes up large parts... Um, we also need to fix this budget thing, so let's go up here and see tax. I think I want to implement an alcohol tax, because we have more drinkers now. Are you serious? If I actually go... I get a billion dollars from alcohol tax. But if I go this way, it increases the drinker's membership. So we go 1.2, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20. That's almost a 1% increase and we get a billion. Yeah, we're going to do that. So a little bit of alcohol tax. What do I do for the environmentalists? Tax evasion goes up no matter what you do. I can't lower it or anything, but you know, if I go just a little bit this way, I lose socialist, but I gain some capitalist. I don't think that's anything I want to mess with right now. Afraid pollution controls would destroy me. What to do, gamers? What to do? Clean energy? That could make them... Oh yeah, in the millions? Makes the environmentalists super happy. Capitalists aren't too happy. Air quality goes up. Oil demand? Oh yeah, it's worth that much. Let's do that. Alright. We are done with this turn, so let's move on to the next. There's a budget deficit of $545.6 million. We have almost... Oh my god, I, I didn't expect it to be this good. Um, only 29% of the people expect to vote for me, though. It's ridiculous. Economy's doing well. Intelligence service have nothing to report. Minimum wage. We will introduce this law because it will make the socialists like me. The drinkers are disliking me a little bit. I don't like the alcohol tax. Well, sorry, we kind of had to make some money somehow. I think I made it too severe. We can make it still fair and make a billion dollars. I'm happy with that. We've got to get every... Why is... This contagious disease is killing me, though. Literally. We 
We start at 6.97, we'll give it a billion more dollars. Let's give it two billion more. Let's see, it increases. So employees. Membership goes up, unemployment goes down, lifespan, wealthy goes down. How does this make the wealthy go down? Poor goes up, capitalist goes down, wealthy goes down, hospital overcrowding, and that goes down. Oh, I can't do it. Maybe next turn. Next turn, we need to fix that. Uh, we have cheap import issues. Homelessness is no longer a problem. Street gangs is no longer a problem. Ban fox hunting. After years of debate, a law is now before Parliament concerning the banning the banning of fox hunting. Opponents of hunting claim that the sport is cruel, but those defending it claim that the traditional... Let's ban it so that the environmentalists and all those hippies will love me. Alright, so we need to put this up. So, from 6.82 to 8.82... There we go. Then hopefully... Oh, this bar jumped up a lot, so... Hopefully that comes around. What's our drinkers at now? 77% of my population drinks. <laughs> Which is more than the socialist. That is amazing. That truly is amazing. And I don't know what to do with that. Oh, and we're actually making a surplus right now. That is amazing. Um, so I really don't want to do anything. Is everybody happy? Wow, we got a really good gut. Is that supposed to be me? Our chancellor? Poor. Look at the experience of these people. How the hell did I get that lucky? There's Mr. Pipe, dude. No wonder I'm doing so good this turn, but this guy's only getting, like, one. Do you see what he was supporting, though? He supports conservatives and environmentalists. He should be happy with one of them. Oh, well. Let's go to the next turn. Um, the vigilante, mo vigilante mobs are no longer... We have a 1.28 billion surplus each quarter, which is great news. Still only 30% of the people. The election is getting closer. We have an immigration scan scandal, which is not good. Speed limits. Um, let's raise the speed limits. Big deal. Um, this is not good right now. I don't like the fact... Terrorism goes up, but if we go this way... Crime goes down, liberals don't like me. Yeah, let's, let's do that. We need to put a little bit into it. <sighs> There's not much else we can do this turn, so... We'll just have to think about that. Let's let's see. We're we're making money. Homelessness is no longer an issue. The alcohol tax is fair. Let's move on. The global economy is doing okay. We need to born. Budget deficit. Now we're back to the bad side of this. Only 41% of the people are going to vote for us, so we need to make them happy. Uh, now, yes, we're going to pass this law of corporate manslaughter because we want companies to be liable. I've raised this up, but I don't know what else I can do to it. Let's make this reasonable. There we go. To put in a little bit more money into our government. So little baby pregnancy thing over here is kind of irks me. 
Let's see, eighty-one percent of the population is drinking. Um, they're unhappy about the alcohol tax, but sorry, guys. That's the only thing negative on them. It pisses them off that much, and I just raised it. This is going to go over well. Um, ban say no. We're going to allow marriages, so people will be happy with us. The religion people is going to hate us, but you know, still around four billion. You know, I'm not happy about that. Poverty is causing it. So, how do we get rid of poverty? State schools? I can't give everybody laptops. I mean, we're freaking already 13%. What else affects poverty? State pensions. Um, what is that? 3.97? Let's go up to 4.96. Yes. I'm spending. I gotta spend. It's a socialist country. Oh, good lord. Euthanasia. Legal scandal. Confidence in our legal system has dropped through a floor after investigative journalists have discovered a number of serious miscarriages of justice, including people found guilty of murder despite minimal evidence. There is an outrage amongst liberals who blame the government for completely and adequately provision of legal safeguards to... Oh my god. Are you serious? 48% of the vote... A once famous citizen, age 66, is suffering from terminal disease and living in constant severe pain. Although modern medical techniques can keep him alive for many more years, he has expressed a repeated desire to be allowed to take his own life. If we legalize euthanasia, it is incredibly cruel to keep people living in permanent pain when there is no hope of recovery, and they can have already expressed a will not to carry on with their life. As modern medical technology advances, this is going to be more common as we are able to keep people alive in pain or in a coma for many years. Leave law unchanged. Everyone has a sympathy for those involved in these situations, but changing the law is wrong decision. This would be thin edge. This would be the thin end of the wedge. Once the principle of helping people to die is in the law, the pressure will be on anyone with a terminal condition, especially where medical care is expensive. Don't change the law. Well, we're socialists, so we don't really want to pay for them when they get older. So let's legalize this. Okay. Everybody still doing okay here? Our welfare guy is doing three. Law and order three. Unemployment benefits. It's low right now. That's it. 477. We can go up to 1.5 billion. Let's increase it to medium. That will get help the poor and drop poverty. Yeah, there we go. Spend more money. Right before the election. That's what I always say. Are the drinkers okay? You guys alright? What are you all upset about? That guy's a religious drinker. Must be Catholic. Woo! Voting probability. They're all 100%. Oh, everybody has to vote here. That's right. Alright, so we'll leave it there. Let's see what happens. Whew, crazy, crazy. The citizen who sees society's democratic clothes being worn out and does not cry it out is not a patriot, but a traitor. Interesting. Uh, what do we want to do for our next election? We want to increase the lifespan by 10% and cut unemployment by 10%. Technology backwater. Great news. The Center for Technology and Business has announced that our nation is no longer perceived as being backwards in technological terms. This will be welcome news for the economy as it opens up opportunity for technology investment. Sweet. 
Global economies in a recession is having a negative effect on our GDP. The government is currently running a budget deficit of 7.5, which takes steps to reduce this. That jumped up tremendously. Uh, we currently have, we estimate, 51% of the vote in the election. Police officers have arrested a con man who is staying in our country illegally. Under normal circumstances, he would be eligible to be deported back to his country of origin. The man claims that if sent back to his homeland, he is likely to be de tortured by the government. I'm socialist, so we're going to keep him here. Hooray! What do I want to do to get the little bump? I don't want to act any tax right now. That would be terrible. We could uh, increase the cigarette tax. How does this get rid of equality? Because cigarette smokers are their own group now? It's ridiculous. So it starts at 340, 345. So we'll put it at 445. There we go. Sorry, you do not have sufficient control over the government to make this change this time. Holy hell, how many points did it take? 31. Good lord. Well, okay, if that's how they feel, that's how they feel. Is there anything else I want to throw out here? Nah, I really can't afford anything. Disability benefits, welfare fraud department. That might actually be something to implement. Oh, and it's very cheap. So this decreases the poor and the middle income. Ooh. Undercover investigations for half a million billion dollars? Yes, please. Bam! Alright, let's do this. Politics is a war without bloodshed, while war is politics with bloodshed. Truth. Oh, let's see if we won the election. Oh, my bar is going higher. My bar is going higher. My bar is going higher. Yes! <laughs> we have been re-elected. The turnout for my party was 99.95%. Which it's mandatory. And 99.88% for them. The Jehovah part. Let's see, we got socialists, commuters, liberals, the Patriots even voted for me. Self employed, the poor, the drinkers. Told you the drinkers would help. Smokers, middle income, environmentalists, patriots. We just didn't get the wealthy, the parents, the conservatives, the religious, retired, or motorist. Hmm. Let's continue my presidency. We've got to fix this or we're in trouble. It's a point of senior judge. One of our most senior judges, respected judges, has died. Human rights, making individual rights and liberties. Yes, we want him. We're socialist. Got to make them happy. All right, we got to find a way to make some money. Inheritance tax? A property tax would help. Let's implement that. It's like socialist will like me, equality will like me, capitalist, middle income, retired. It's okay. We'll be all right. We just need to make some money somehow. Suppose you were an idiot, and suppose you were a member of Congress, but I repeat myself. <laughs> Nobel Prize. One of our brightest citizens has won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. This just goes to show that we have some of the best educated and brightest people in the modern world. It is being reported as a superb vindication of our education policies. It also likely to encourage investment in the country now we are seen as such innovators. Sweet. People smuggling. A large number of people have been caught entering our country hidden inside cargo containers. Mexico? In an organized attempt to people smuggling. The criminals who mastermind the scheme have, have been arrested. But there is debate as to whether those people who are now on our shores should be sent back to their country of origin. Oh my god, this is going on in America today. 
So we allow them to stay. There's a strong evidence that these people were desperate to flee persecution, poverty, or even death in their own country. These are desperate people, as we can see from the links that they went in order to get here. It would be inhumane to deport them now that they are here. Deporting them. Letting them... Letting these people stay would send out entirely the wrong signal to people who want to come here illegally. We have enough of a problem with illegal economic migrants as it is. Unfortunate though as it may be, the only sensible choice is to send them back. Once again, we're a liberal leftist socialist country, so we have to allow them to stay. The budget is in good shape. We currently have a surplus of $4 billion. How the hell did that happen? Because of the property tax? Holy crap. People aren't really complaining about this tax anymore, are they? Theoretically. We can drop that down to fair. Just do little tinkers. You know, I'm on my second term. We don't really want to mess with things. The hardest thing in the world to understand is the income tax. That's funny that Albert Einstein said that. The budget has a 6.16 billion surplus each quarter, which is great news. We are making a shit ton of money right now. Which means that we should totally invest another billion into our healthcare. Sweet! Let's see how the groups are doing. Wow! Fanatically supportive. The socialists love me. The religious is kind of unhappy, but they're only 20%. They've actually dropped from 27%. Parents, I really would like to do something for them. But they want to get rid of the overcrowding and asthma epidemic, so I should have just took care of them. Capitalists, they're, yeah, they're just they're done. Trade unionists are getting a little happy. The, tra the cheap imports is not helping them. I don't know how to fix that. That's probably something up here with foreign relations. I probably can give some more money. What is this? Immigration. Eh, I'm sure something up here. Racial tension has dropped. Binge drinking has almost stopped. I guess if it's allowed, it's not considered binge drinking. Inner city riots is dropping too, so hopefully that soon will be gone. What is this? Hospital... These, again, I just increased that, so hopefully. Commuters have just been happy. Self-employed's okay. Smokers are satisfied, as long as they get their cigs. Patriots have got a little bit happier with me. Environmentalists are getting more happy. I'm glad. Glad, glad, glad. Farmers, uh, they've warmed back up a little bit. They're upset about fox hunting? Really? Oh, because they're getting their chickens. I got it. Patriots. We already looked at them. Let's see. Liberals. Loyal. The poor. That's the wealthy. That's obviously not the poor. The wealthy is decreasing. The poor. Oh, that poor dude. He looks like one of my old students. They're very loyal to me. The middle income, I wish I could help them out, but they're just... She looks totally like the minister. No wonder she's sympathetic to them. I bet that's her mother. Just saying. And everybody is moderately unhappy, but isn't that what it always... And that's because of this contagious disease. So hopefully, next episode, we can find a way to knock out this, and we're very close. So gamers, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Democracy 2. I know I am enjoying playing this game. Remember, it is part of the SKS Game Blitz from Infernal Zephyr. And I will see you next time. Good night.